Hi, in today's discussion, let's talk about time deposit. What is time deposit? A time deposit, also known as term deposit or fixed deposit, is a type of bank account that earns a fixed interest but cannot be withdrawn over a specified term or period. Although time deposits in the Philippines are deposit accounts like regular savings and checking accounts, these bank products differ from one another, especially in terms of earning interest. How to open a time deposit account? First, choose a bank. Second, prepare and submit bank requirements. Third, prepare your initial deposit. Initial deposit depends on the bank you choose. In the Philippines, minimum deposit can be as low as 1,000 pesos. Last, choose your length of time you want your money to remain in the bank. Lock-in period. Most financial institutions in the Philippines have lock-in period of 30 days to 5 years and even up to 7 years when they offer a higher interest rate. How does time deposit work? For lock-in periods of less than or equal to 1 year, the formula for the interest would be simple interest formula. I, the interest, is equal to the product of the principal amount the interest rate, and time expressed in years. So this is deposit amount is your principal amount multiplied to the interest rate multiplied to the quotient of the lock-in period in days and 360 days. As you can see, for lock-in periods of less than or equal to one year, bank defines one year as 360 days. For lock-in periods of more than one year, we still utilize the simple interest formula. Notice that the bank definition of one year would be equal to 365 days. So this is the exact definition of one year, and this is the approximate number of days in a year. Note as well that bank charges withholding tax of 20%, which means you will only receive 80% of the interest income upon maturity of tenure. Let's go to frequently asked question. Can I open a time deposit with 1,000 pesos? The answer, yes. According to this website, it's cheapest to open time deposit in AUB, BDO, and Land Bank with just a minimum placement of 1,000 pesos. Second question, what is the minimum and maximum lock-in period for time deposit? Time deposits in the Philippines offers lock-in or maturity periods as short as one month to as long as five or seven years. Of course, with a time frame of one month, the interest rate is low. But for this five or seven years lock-in period, definitely the interest rate would be higher to around three to five percent. Is my time deposit insured? Time deposits in the Philippines have an insurance of up to 500,000 pesos by the Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation, PDIC. This means you'll get your money back in case the bank closes down as the PDIC will pay you deposit insurance. Can I open a time deposit if I am below 18 years old? This is a very good question. Well, according to www.banksphilippines.com, children in the Philippines who are at least 7 years old and who can read and write can legally open savings and time deposit accounts. Deposit and withdraw using their own names and signatures. This is by Presidential Decree Number 735 issued in 1975. So the answer is yes. You can open a time deposit even if you are below 18 years old. Let's proceed to some example. For the purpose of explanation, we shall be testing the definition of one year as 365 days, the exact and the approximate number of days in a year, 360, in this five examples of our bank. So let's proceed to computation. This is the problem, time deposit. Glenn has 150,000 pesos and is looking for a bank where he can leave his money for six months so it can earn interest via time deposit. Help him complete the following table so he can decide which bank to use. Again, for purpose of explanation, We'll try to test the exact number of days in a year, 365 days and 360 days. 
for the time frame 6 months. So I won't be using my calculator because my calculator will be replaced by this solution on a spreadsheet. So how do we apply the simple interest formula? Remember that the interest is equal to the product of the principal, the rate, and the time. So let's test that so that this is equals. Our principal amount is 150,000 multiplied to the rate is 1.25% multiplied to the time which is 181 days divided by our definition for PBI direct would be 365 days. Press enter and let's round this off to two decimal place. There you go. We have an interest of 929.79 pesos. This is what you get after six months if bank uses the exact number of days in a year with a rate of 1.25%. So let me show that again. So this is equals. Our formula is PRT. That's the product of the principal, the rate, and the time. So the principal amount or the deposit amount is 150,000 multiplied to the rate multiplied to 181 days divided by the definition of the bank for one year this cell 365 press enter and we have 743.84 let's round this off to two decimal place there you go so since I'm using a spreadsheet I can simply copy the formula placed on my second example so let's see there you go. So in comparison, answering this question helped Glenn to decide which bank to choose. So I have CIM Bank that offers an interest of 942 pesos and 71 cents after six months, followed by PBI Direct, 929 pesos point 79 and then ABC indirect 743.84 followed by XY inline bank 716.46 and the last option would be 377.08 okay so this is the interest I gain after six months but take note that in time deposit there is a withholding tax of 20 percent so meaning you'll only take home the 80 percent so if you take the 80% of this, this is equals 0.8, that's the 80%, multiplied to this interest after 6 months. Press enter and you have a value of 743.84. Let me copy the formula or drag this formula down up to the last bank. And there you go. Still, it's higher interest if Glenn invests his deposit amount to this bank which offers 1.25 percent interest rate and uses the approximate number of days in a year so it seems that if we compare PBI direct and CIM bank who offers the same interest rate but uses different number of days in a year the approximate number of days in a year would actually yield a higher interest rate. So there you go. This is an example of time deposit utilizing the simple interest formula. Thank you for watching.